Kurt. And we're working with leather today, aren't we, Jill? Yes, we are, Kurt. Mm -hmm. We'll uh, be making belts over at the craft store, Kurt. See? There's, there's, there's some belts happening right now. Slap some leather with us. Right after this. Going wrong. I'm just about to go myself. Turn the whole wide world into a TV show. So it's just the same game forever. This is a, a neat looking pizza slicer, Jill, or it could be a tool for working with leather, I'm not sure. Uh, I think it's for working with leather. Okay. Yes, I'm all here right. with Jamie Hartling from Leathersmith Designs and Dark. Right. How are you this morning, Jamie? Pretty good. Good. Now, you make all sorts of neat stuff. Uh, we can see it all over there. Belts, uh, wallets, pretty much anything anybody wants, eh? We make everything from uh, from uh, thousands of uh, a particular item to uh, individual custom work, such as cellular phone cases to briefcases. Oh, wonderful. Sure. What are we, yeah, what are we going to make this morning? Today, we're going to make a key tag. It's a great project for 4-H clubs, goats, girl guides. Uh, cool projects okay. and the first thing in making uh, an item is to wet the leather mm -hmm. and then what you do Jill is you uh, take these designs and you stamp it into the leather and I'll let you give that a try you can hold that <laughs> you, I'll, I'll let you, you use your you fingers you don't want to huh that's right one good hit sure and then you can oh wow I got it then you can arrange different designs after that okay. we, we take the uh, the key tag, I already have a design in this one, mm -hmm. and you put some dye on a cloth, and you apply the dye to the key tag. Does all the leather come in this in this color? Is this the, this, this is the natural colored leather of okay. the undyed cowhide. All right. I'll just do this quickly. After it's dyed, you apply oils and conditioners and polishes. So I'm going to skip those steps just to give you a quick view of how this is made. Sure. After it's dyed, then you take a, your ring and you have a rivet and a cap. <laughs> that didn't want to come out of the lid. That's right. There's a cap there. And I'll let, I'll let Kirk set this. Oh! And all that you do... Oh, you more pounding, that. Kirk. You get the hammer or something? I'll let you hold this, Kirk. It's your finger. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and you give it a good whack. Good. One good whack. One good whack. All right, Kurt. Nice oh. work. There you go. There's the key tag. And we, we sell these kits in Darkness, and we also make the leather goods there as well. So people can buy key tag kits? Yes. Oh, that's great. And we also sell the finished product. So if you want to make the leather goods yourself, come to Darkness and see us. Or if you want to buy the finished product, come and see now, us do as you, well. Now, do you, do you dye this side, or do you leave this natural? Usually I leave it natural, but I do dye the edges. And, but we don't have enough time to do that because of the drying time. Oh, okay, because it needs to dry. Excellent. All right, and next time when we come back, Jamie, we're going to work on a belt. Does that sound all right? Excellent. This this is fun. This I didn't ever. know that's what you did at all. Did you? No. I had, I had no, no idea. idea. No, I mean, you just go buy these things usually, right? <laughs> we do. <laughs> and you can be at any age doing this. I started this when I was 12 years old, and I've been selling at craft shows since I was 13. Look is that, that right? Yeah. We're not going to ask you older now. Okay. <laughs> it's been a while, though, right? I like, I, I like the smell. Yes. Don't you? I do, too. As you know, I'm a, I'm a smell guy. Yes, yes. We're have been dieting and you've done a... So they need another so couple of notches we here. We called uh, Jamie. Jamie Hartling from Leathersmith Designs. Let's uh, put two in there if you wouldn't mind. He's in this morning. Uh, put one or two or six. Every home needs a tool like that because yeah. doesn't that always happen? You get a belt that's too... Uh, nice. There you go. Thanks a lot. Too small. <laughs> it takes me about an hour and a half to do that. Paige uses scissors to put new holes in her belt. Yeah. Mm, not a smart thing. Okay, we're going to make a belt right now. Okay. Uh, earlier, Jill, you were asking what does the product look like finished. Here's a finished leather belt where it's after it's been dyed, oiled, polished, burnished. Oh, lovely. Is that the same? Oh, well, not, not exactly oh. the same pattern as this, but this is what it looks like. This is the before picture, right? Yes, it is. Okay. That's after it's been cut from the skin, and we put the design in earlier, but I'm going to need your help to make a belt. Okay. okay. So uh, we're very, cross people are very concerned about health, and at Leathersmith Designs, we don't want to get any dyes into our skin. So, Kirk, if you could put this on your hands. Okay. And Jill. Thank yep. you, Jill. I'm just giving Kurt a hand back Thank here. Jill. Oh. I need Jill to uh, round the edge of this leather. Okay. And all that you do... If you take the beveler and you push it and it peels off the edge, it makes a nice oh, round edge. Oh, boy, you, tr you trust me, do you? Yeah, I'm coming over to your table. Oh. Oh, see, I made a nick. Oh, well. Okay, and uh, Jill's working on that. We're going to get get Kurt, Kurt? Yes. the mad doctor here to, to dye the anyway. other belt that we have uh, already put the design in. Yes. You want me to stain it? Yes. I'll I'm just... good at staining things, believe me. Okay. We'll Bo move. Both sides, Jamie? Uh, yes, we'll just move there where you are. 
Oh, well, I'm in the way. <laughs> so we'll uh, won't get any dye on your nice counter. Oh, please. Mm. Okay. Okay, and uh, <laughs> this is one of our products we sell a lot of in Dartmouth are these belts. Mm -hmm. You just wipe it on. Just wipe it on. Yes. Nice and easy, even. Mm. Keep going. Mm. I'll keep moving it down okay. for you. I'm terrible oh, yes. at this. I've made this Look a mess. Look at that. So we're nice and making a nice brown leather belt here. It's the first time I've stained something that I'm supposed to. <laughs> hmm. Oh, I'm going to have to take making, remedial I'm leather trimming because I'm terrible at it. Jamie, where's your shop? It's in Dartmouth on <laughs> 3 Scottsburn Avenue. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's out near Dartmouth Community College. And people can either come by the finished product or come by kits, right? Yes, they kits can. On the key we we make the kits in Dartmouth for, for groups such as Cubs, Goats, 4-H uh, clubs. Great. Uh, schools do it. Mm. This is fun. And now that you've done that, Kirk, mm -hmm. uh, I'll just get you to take this dauber. Dauber. Okay. Pam dauber. And yep. don't get over your nice blazer. Oh, and you're no. just going to wipe oh, it on the, the edge. edge. Yeah. I'll let okay. you do that. Okay. Kurt will do that. Oh, in the commercial break, uh, we'll come back and wrap up this edition of BT and take a look at the finished product. Oh, don't go away. We're back in a few minutes. This is a